I'm in Fairfield, Connecticut, and I'm with AJ, the new owner of Raleigh's. Now, I thought I knew history because I went to school with Peggy Raleigh, and I thought her family started it, but AJ over here, he's got a whole history on this place. Tell us a little bit about this place. By the way, Peggy Raleigh still comes in, and her brother John. Oh my God, I haven't she's seen her in She's a teacher here. here. She's a teacher here in Fairfield. No way. She's Peggy Raleigh Walsh. Peggy Raleigh Walsh. How do you like that? Oh my God. I got uh, goosebumps just yeah. about this. Well, but, Raleigh, so give us a history. Raleigh's, uh, Raleigh's uh, is an 1850 farmhouse. Uh, Did you say 1850? 1850, yeah, it's a farmhouse yeah, right here. Wow. And uh, so what happened at one point, the people that lived here actually started a little roadside, uh, little hut over there on the, on, the, on the end of the parking lot. Okay. It was a dirt parking lot. They, um, they were making burgers, and they were from the south, and they called the place the Rebel Burger. The Rebel Burger. Not many people know about that, because we're going back to the mid, the early and middle 40s, 1940s. Wow, I wasn't even on the swim team at there that point. There you go, I wasn't born 19, <laughs> until 1949. Uh, and then what happened was, is uh, Lorenzo. Yeah. Lorenzo bought the building, and he turned it into Lorenzo's. Not many people remember Lorenzo's. He was, my time. he was doing hot dogs and burgers, 1947. Okay. Uh, and then a, a man came to work from him for him that used to work at the Ironworks, I believe, in Bridgeport. Okay. And his name was Bob Raleigh. No kidding. Bob Raleigh came to work for Lorenzo's. He worked uh, several years for him, probably from 47 to 1952. In 1952, he bought it from Lorenzo's. Wow. And it became Raleigh's, and it's been Raleigh's ever since 1952. So is it Bob Raleigh? Yeah, Bob Raleigh. So how is Bob Raleigh related to Peggy? That's, his fa that's her father. Well, that's what I said. I said, it's the, oh, no, they didn't start it. They bought, okay. They bought it in 52. Now it comes together. Okay, yeah, they bought it in 52 when he got wow. married. He got married and he bought it in 52. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Bob Raleigh had it from 52 to, I believe, 71 or 72. Okay. When another fellow started working for him, Chico, also, know, Chico. also known as Richard Bellick. <laughs> that was his real name. But Nobody in, knew him as that. Everybody knew him as Chico. Picture of him over here on the wall. <laughs> so in 71 or 72, uh, Chico bought the restaurant, and he had it for 30 years, almost to 2001. When Nick Fradioli, who owned Dairy Queen next door, yeah, thought it would that. be a great idea because Chico wanted to sell it and retire, so yeah. he uh, he offered it to, to uh, Nick Fradioli. Nick said, yes, I want that. Nick basically bought it for the parking lot and the parking space for Dairy Queen because after seven o'clock at night is when he did all his business and he wanted more parking. Nick didn't want to be in the fast food hot dog business. But this place is iconic. I know, but it was it's also hard to manage and you gotta be here all the time, but he was more interested in Dairy Queen, right. but it worked out for him. He had it for 20 years. Uh, until 2020, we found out that he was interested in turning it over. Um, I have been in the uh, restaurant food hamburger business for 30 years, and my partner found out about it. He asked me if I wanted to get involved. We got involved. Uh, two weeks before COVID, we took it over. <laughs> I didn't know COVID was coming. We had heard about it. Nobody knew it was until coming. Until one day, I drove home down uh, down the street here in uh, the Post Road in Fairfield, and everything was closed. Oh man. And now I didn't worry about that because I knew the place needed uh, some cleanup. So we, yeah, gave, we, gave it amazing. A, we gave it a facelift because it was 80 some years of grease and smoke and uh, bacon grease all over. And we put in new uh, butcher block uh, counters and we had to change the configuration of the entry and exit yeah. because of COVID. People used to sit at the counter, okay. and uh, no one really wanted to um, sit at the counter with people reaching over them with money. So we had to change the uh, entry door and the exit door, and we made it more conducive to safety. Okay. So that's what's going on. We didn't open up for six months. We actually opened up about this time, September, okay. three years later. Wow. And here we are. AJ? Paul? It is a pleasure to meet you, man. My pleasure. And thank you for sharing the history of Raleigh's in Fairfield. Absolutely. You got it. You guys, got to come check this place out. Thank it's you very much. History.